manipulating weaknesses and taking advantage of them with the fact that he's Palutena. And keep in mind, he's also got Ness in the pocket as well. If this turns into a counter pick yeah. war, because if we find you know Edgar down 2-0, we might see him switch to the Ness or even <coughs> excuse me Snake. Which I know that he pulled out in a, in a matchup not too long ago. but Yeah, he pulled out the snake because Ray told him to, though. Okay. I don't think he actually has well, it. Edgar, do you here. have a snake? He doesn't have a snake. All right, no, so, no. good. So we don't have a... Yeah, uh, so uh, just, just Ness Palutena <laughs> for the most part, pretty much. I don't know if I would bring out Ness against um, against Mike, though. I, I think Palutena would shred any character in, in Mike's ros roster. Right, the, on, on paper. But keep in mind, something that you mentioned here is that Mike doesn't play very orthodox. So we could find ourselves in a situation where he's, he's using there surprising he options and maybe a more consistent character that he's known, which is Ness, I feel like, may benefit him. But I'm excited to see uh, the matchups that we're going to have on the screen here. As Mike does sit down, Edgar going to retain the player one position and Mike moving into player two here. Now, I think stages, honestly, are going to play a big factor in this game because these two players have multiple characters and they're able to really surprise you with some crazy options. Right. The, the consistent factor will be the counterpicking of stages, I feel. Where do you think each player will benefit, and where should they counterpick each other? Let's see. Well, me personally, I think that Palutena just wins on platforms. Okay. Because those juggles, the nares, she gets so much off of it. What? I, excuse me. How I see this set going, though, is I definitely see just neutral stages. I don't see any Castle Siege. I don't see any Lila. I don't see any Yoshi's Island. I just see flat ground. Maybe a stage like this where there's just like a couple platforms, but for the most part, I believe that these guys are just going to go at it. Just just head-to-head, -head, no gimmicks. All right, so we're going to be having Edgar and Mike moving in with Edgar again on the loser's side of the bracket here. Coming in uh, on Smashville. <gasps> oh. That's the kind of stuff. This already. That's I'm, all, I'm, I can't already yell. starting with the board smash, and yell. that's going to really – This is kind of this is exactly what Mike was able to do to get rid of uh, Ben at that point uh, and really get a clean 3-0 is just get these forward smashes and just annihilate these stocks. Yeah, and, and that's what we're talking about a lot of the times. Like, I wouldn't say that Edgar was being too respectful of the F smash, but Mike will hit you with things that you just don't know about. Absolutely. Like a full forward smash. I don't even think he charged that at all. I think it was just like a forward smash. Um, the initial impact on shield, then the ground hitbox ended up breaking the shield. Like, that's some wild stuff. And yeah, the time for when he held it was very suspicious as well because he, it was it was quite deceptive with the fact that he held onto it for a brief moment. Right. And then was able to go ahead and just read the fact that he's you know didn't have an opportunity to really parry either. Yeah. Mike is definitely the kind of, uh, the kind of player who will get clips on you. And we're seeing another forward smash come out from Nike. That's and the second forward smash. <laughs> <laughs> we're seeing three <laughs> forward smashes come out from Mike, and they've been effective. So far, I believe he's only thrown out two. He's 100% <laughs> as far as his accuracy for what's deemed to be like a very, you know, sus move. So we're seeing some <laughs> great play come out from Mike right now with these traps, because keep in mind, he did use the Gordo to set that one up off the ledge. Like, it, it's funny, because when he lands these forward smashes, it's the most hype thing ever. But I've just, it's such a Mike thing to do at this point. Like, I've seen it so many times where it's not like, yo, Mike hit a, a forward smash. It's more like, again? Like, another one? <laughs> like, really? We're going to eat like, <laughs> It's like, that, that's just what he does. And kudos to him because that just goes to show that he just places his attack so well. He's so conditioned that depending on the situation, he just knows when oh. to do it. <laughs> he just knows. It's incredible. And this is actually a fantastic play come, uh, start for, <coughs> excuse me, Mike. Considering the fact that he's not really, he's expressed he's not confident in this matchup, but being able to get two forward smashes on this character, especially against a player like Edgar, this must feel really good as like as far as starting out the match. Right. Yeah. No. For sure. And um, one thing is about DDD is uh, a lot of us really don't know the matchup. I know Mike kind of goes through bracket and destroys oh. us occasionally, but I think one thing about DDD is you might have to kind of play him as if you were playing against the Palutena. Maybe shield less, move more, because I don't think shielding against this character is that beneficial because he does way too much shield chip, and once your shield is low and you start getting scared, that's when DDDs can really go in. Absolutely, and right now we're seeing that Edgar's kind of slowing down the pace here, zoning him out a little bit more, preventing him, kind of playing him more like he did Ben, where he's keeping him on the ledge here on one side of the stage and just controlling everything. Great jab After right there, getting that spot dodge. And that's really what he needed. He needs to cover more options in neutral because Mike, surprisingly, DDD being the big character that he is, he does have a lot of burst options, mainly wow. his down tilt. Down yeah. tilts are really good. Just burst, get me out of here. It's so quick. So being up close against DDD is a scary thing, but the fact that uh, Edgar knew to just hold a multi-hit move was actually extremely smart. I'm actually very surprised with the way that this match is actually playing because Mike had a significant lead, yet Edgar is the one who's kind of keeping his distance. 
And although it's working for him, I'm surprised Mike continues to approach the way he does right. rather than retaining that patient play that you were mentioning earlier. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that Edgar obviously got caught off guard. You know, he got hit by things that you shouldn't have gotten hit by. So I think right now he's really just slowing it down and being like, I know what to do. I just have to be more careful. And as a Palutena, that's really how you have to play is you have to take it a stock at a time. A lot of it's reaction. Oh, and wow. What a read. Not quite going to do it just yet, though, but Edgar just really struggling. Four tilt? What a four tilt. Still either. living. This is a scary edge guard, though. Like, oh, and Edgar just yeah. kind of drops the ball in that recovery. That was an extremely Getting scary edge guard. All right, and we're going to have uh, zero to EXE. Oh. Okay. All right, for sure. Yeah, we already started. But, yeah, no, I, I definitely feel like we're going to see a bit of uh, momentum change here in this game too coming up because I think Edgar kind of caught on to what it was, but I definitely feel like towards the end right there, he kind of accepted like, all right, you got me this game. Yeah, but absolutely. It looks like he kind of uh, just dropped on that one, but I do like the fact that he did adjust after those two stocks, so you could really see him making a change in his play. Going to a stage like PS2, I think is going to make a big difference. Yeah. Considering the fact that he'll have two spaced out platforms where he'll be able to really move around a little bit more and keep his distance. Yeah. One thing that we just saw right there was Edgar did commit with the neutral air, but he overextended. Uh, Mike outspacing it just a little bit was able to get a jab of his own. If Edgar is going to commit to going in, he has to be sure that he's hitting shield or something. Because if he's getting outspaced by DDD, he's going to get punished hard. I really like the fact that in that... <gasps> oh, not again. That's the kind of stuff that he needs <laughs> to look out for. And Mike is just so scary when he gets to doing things like that. Just throwing and out forward smashes. You know, honestly, the way, goes. the way that he threw out that forward smash, and I want to credit this to his ability to play multiple characters, it's a technique that actually a lot of Ridley's players use. Well, they'll step back, step back, forward smash, and throw it out here. Right. Mike has kind of like integrated that into his... Oh, wow, my what a caller right there. Edgar jumping look right that. into that. Look at and that and smile on Mike's smash. face. <laughs> yeah. the, the forward smash is so good, too that a lot of the times you kind of can just do it. It's such a good option. That's de it's very threatening, too, because you don't want to get blown up at 20%. Definitely not. A lot of Mike's kills are very interesting from what I noticed. Like, a lot of them are just, like, really hard reads. I mean, Edgar wants to play as safe as possible, but Mike is doing such a good job calling out full hops. He's calling out neutral approaches. Just look. He's also jumping a yeah. lot. I don't agree with Edgar not punishing the multi-jumps that Mike is doing. Uh, yeah, especially with the fact that he has a tool, a disjointed tool like up air, that oh. would annihilate a lot of these multi-jumps. But uh, the fact that he's really playing safe, I think is hindering him early on. I think that he needs to establish the safe play once he has a lead. Nice. Great back That's a really good backer right there. Yeah, no. I mean, Mike Mike is definitely doing his thing right now. Here we we got DDD. He's going for a ride. This is going to be a guaranteed oh, yeah. combo. It's going to be a forwarder. Yep, 53%, bringing the game back to almost perfectly even. Now let's We're see. still going. Edgar's taking advantage. This is what he needs right here. He needs to keep Mike off stage. Correct. I want to see if Edgar's going to have the ability to close out these stocks a little more effectively because he put him at almost 200% last time and ended up losing his stock first. Yeah. And, again, that's just the Mike thing because it's like whoever gets the better read by the end of the day wins. And uh, although Edgar is playing pretty safe, he's really not getting those heavy hits. He's just getting small hits oh from, like, my aerials, things like that, just like that. Mike is playing in Edgar's head right now. That was a great up smash to take the lead back. And that's what I'm talking about is, see, Edgar can dominate the game from some stages in the neutral. But when it comes down to closing out the stocks, Edgar's like, hey, I'm going to use oh. my unorthodox options here and things you've never seen, you know, or, you know, it's difficult to remember and just take this lead back. And this is where Mike shines because he's just chipping away at it. Does oh, my wow, God. Wow, <laughs> he was just going for it that time. <laughs> But, you know, yeah, that, that's the importance of mix-ups, really. Uh, one thing that I would like a mix-up of, Edgar hasn't grabbed in yes. quite some time. And the neutral that Mike is playing right now is so reactive. He's just waiting for Edgar to press buttons, and then uh, Mike is going for the punishes. Like, look, he's just jumping up for free right now. He's throwing stuff up. I like that because Edgar actually did oh throw, my jump great. and throw him all he hit. That, Can we talk that was about that interaction. That was yeah. a fantastic. There's your reaction We're right Pong. There. You know, I'm telling you, he's <laughs> playing just so based off reaction, and he's also getting good reads on his ledge guards and his DDD. That's wow. what he excels in. Like, what it's a, really good. That was a great pickup, going from down tilt to up air to close out the stock. So a little bit of creativity coming out of Edgar as well. Fantastic play. Yeah, definitely. Oh he my needs God. to get <laughs> off the ledge. Roll something. I know it's scary, but you can't respect it that much. You have to do something. <gasps> and there it goes That's again. the second time oh, he did it. That the was such a time. good read. He charged it for so long. Mike looking extremely confident Has Mike right now. dropped a game today? To be completely honest with you, I don't know. None of the sets that I saw, he dropped a game. Because I don't think he dropped a game against Ven either. And that's no, saying he, something. Yeah, that was a 3-0. That's saying something. Mike has just been on another level this tournament. Okay. Now, 
the where do you think because again we talked about how the consistency in this game is going to come down to the stages where do you think edgar needs to go or do to really kind of throw mike off his game let's see um we've been seeing the flat stages like i was telling you i mean honestly i don't think it's really a, like a stage thing that edgar's dealing with here it's just I, I don't know i feel like edgar's playing a little slow I feel like he's just not catching on to certain habits that he needs to be, and Mike is just clearly taking so much advantage of that. Um, Edgar does have his moments of getting a good burst damage like that, like 0 to 56, that's really good, but um, his advantage state against Mike doesn't go that far. So he's going to have to work on the advantage state, and he's also going to have to work on if he's going to play safe, don't get hit by heavy moves from DDD. You just can't. Yeah, and right now he's doing a great job. Got his 90% lead. This is where I feel like he needs to play that patient game and just slowly chip away until he can clean out the stocks here and not get overly aggressive. And I think this is really hard for DDD to come back, especially like he has these powerful moves, this great damage. Right. But again, Palatine is the type of character that says, no, I'm going to remain safe and limit your options to punish me. Yeah, and this is, this is what we need to see more of. Um, the option selects that Edgar is punishing right now from Mike is stuff that he sh really should have been looking out for since game wow game one, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, and now we see, like, such a big advantage going in right now. And hopefully we can see a closer game, too, because Edgar's... He, w what have we been seeing Edgar get hit by so far? Force smash. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost right there. Very close. If that was game one or two, maybe. But I really think that Edgar is starting to see a little bit more here. Mike's going to have to be careful to not play on a pattern. We're still seeing Mike jump a lot and land on Edgar. Yeah. But Edgar hasn't been throwing out a lot of up airs. That move has such high priority. To be honest, I've seen uh, Edgar starting to catch on to the fact that he's doing neutral air onto his shield, which is actually shield grabbable. So he has the ability DDD's to punch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. On shield is entirely shield grabbable. Doesn't matter how long, how short your grab is. You can grab him. And I think we've seen Edgar do that a couple times. Now that's how he's been racking up his percent off of his throws. Mm -hmm. um, and in this game, as kind of how we were talking about earlier, we were seeing Edgar get hit by just a lot of less, you know, shenanigan-type things. And Mike not really being able to establish a lead here. Just he's chipping away at him. This is scary. This is a really scary setup. And yeah, like a situation like that, you have to really be decisive. Yeah. You, you can't do anything too impulsive. A roll is never usually the right option against DDD ever, especially if he's charging a smash attack. Absolutely. Um, at that point, I probably would have jumped away from the ledge and tried to teleport upward. Yeah. That probably would. It, it's quite the mix-up, but Mike is looking to cover these get-ups. And it, it's really good. Wow. That, and it's amazing how tricky Edgar is forced to play to escape Mike's option selection. That's how crazy it is. Yeah, he's doing like rising back airs to punish ledge options with Palatina. And yeah. Just taking advantage of the fact that he can't, Mike can't just hit him with his, uh, you know, with his hammer. And right now we see Edgar with this lead here. Ha oh, no. He's, he's so doing, he's doing it. He's, yeah. That when, timing was actually almost insane. The fact that Mike is, I feel like now starting to resort to the jet hammer. I think he's a little nervous because yes, he's been in control of the set here until this game, and we can see the clear adaptions coming in from Edgar. Just the the distance in that he's been keeping. You see how he's forcing him to chase him around the stage here has been very beneficial to Edgar. And let's see here, what's up his there, up there. You have to hit the Gordo. Okay, so he you ate the, the Gordo. Yeah, you have to hit the Gordo. It looks like he decided to eat it that time instead of eating the down smash. Right. Which is a better option. So you can see that at least he lives. Correct. He gets, he gets his stock still. He could possibly get some more extra credit. Um, one thing that's extremely scary. Wow. wow. What a mix Whoa. up. What a mix up. What a mix Big up. Big brains. Big okay. brains. That was fantastic. What? I was like, what is he doing here? What is he scheming? Did he miss input? No. Now Mike he is starting to pop off B. a little bit. Mike is really going ham. Let's keep in mind, this is a 2-0 grand final set with Mike coming from winners. So DD is a character that can annihilate stocks at this percent. We're looking at possibly your new, uh, your, your champion of today. Possibly. If Mike's <laughs> able to close this out, because again, Edgar's been playing super dominant in this game three, but I mean, this is, again, this is a character that we have here that can just blow him up, and we're starting to see shades of Yeah, depending on how Mike. safe Edgar chooses to play. And one thing that I said was even though Edgar did have a dominant lead, losing a stock to DDD, being on your last stock against DDD is scary because stuff like that can kill. Oh, yeah. Edgar's really need to have to be careful to close out the stock here. Can't take any more extra damage. Cannot get hit by any, like, crazy shenanigans. Edgar needs to There's Edgar a shenanigans up here. There's Auto a shenanigans. Radical. Radical. Why did you challenge Auto him? Radical. What? What on earth? Why did you challenge Why him? Why didn't he auto-radical? That's all he's doing. Anything. Dash attack? The back here? Moves? Not going to do it. Th this is so scary. This is so scary. The back here on the ledge get up? Going to oh, do it. And that actually oh did. I was actually goodness. wouldn't have been surprised if Mike. I'm actually more surprised that Mike died from yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like it was even that fresh. It might have been a uh, situation where he might have been DIing out because he was roll, uh, getting up off the ledge here, probably trying to like maybe roll back or jump back, Some <coughs> something. But Edgar, keeping his tournament dreams alive for today.
won a game on PS2, so it's proven that the bigger stages have definitely been more beneficial to him. Where do you think... So we're going to Lilat here. What do you think Mike has to do now to adapt and really get control Lilat. back the Oh, man. I mean... Let's see, dude, because like this is a triplat stage, and if Edgar's really on it, we're going to be seeing a lot of movement from him between these platforms with uh, things like teleport, things like more aerial combos coming out. I'm not exactly sure the advantage that Mike has on this stage because I don't know if slants help DDD that much. Maybe he just really likes the fact that these platforms tend to all be around the same level, so he might be able to play atop them more, do more Gordo setups and things like that. But, um, I mean, so far we've been seeing uh, some juggles coming out. And Ed edge guards right here, and it looked like Mike was actually going for that Gordo setup that we've been seeing so often from him at the, at the ledge. Uh, he didn't get anything going for it. Uh, Edgar just got up, did a get up attack. They're extremely even right now. Yeah, these guys are really duking it out, and we're seeing. Oh my goodness! Paul, okay, I, what I, I, I like his time, reaction to that time, now. <laughs> every time, as soon as he sees Mike charging it, he d immediately goes with the roll yeah. behind him, and he's been successful the last three times. Wow, that Gordo just would not leave him alone. And wow, I that's think really good. Now I think you're absolutely right. That was the last three times yep. throughout the whole set. And I think I know figured out why he wanted to go Lilat because of the fact that the stage has multiple tilts Ooh. and the platforms are tilted. The Gordo has a more unpredictable pattern when it oh, bounces. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that what it could be? So when he faces the other way and does a Gordo all the way at the top, hitting a platform, it actually bounces back towards the ledge. And you see these Also weird, that, too. Yeah, it just runs across the stage. So these, so this is actually a counter pick to make his Gordo more effective. You, you see the bounce right there. It bounced straight up coming from an angle. So that's, I think, the reason for this counter pick, which is proving to be a little bit tricky. And Definitely. He's, you know, he's net and Mike is tricky enough. So when you have tricky person, tricky stage, that's too much tricky. That fire is going to go ahead and nail the stock, and we're looking at a much closer uh, closer game than the first two, first three, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, but Edgar now needs to play his game. He's got the nair, got two, 25%. You know, going with a stage like this, it makes really makes me curious to know what Edgar could have banned. Like, what gimmicky stage could he have been afraid of? I think Edgar most likely banned FD Ma Maybe town, low ceiling? And town, maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Oh yeah, that thing. It just went through the stage. Yeah, that thing is blasting. Is this again. stage still tripping out? Like even hazardless? <laughs> Would that have hit someone? <laughs> Come on, now that's insane. Perfect and beautiful, like they say. But uh, Edgar right now has a lead. He's done a great job since he took that previous stock. He has not been uh, hit, or at least it's been very minimal. And he's now got Mike at 111 percent, like poised to take the stock and bring it to a game five. Oh my God! Okay, what a spot, spot dodge! Yeah. I don't know how. What a look. spot dodge! I don't know. I don't like that. He got. <laughs> oh my goodness! Was that a panic? Was it? Just like, oh my God! Yeah, it <laughs> really was. The last second, he was just like, "Wait a minute!" and got out. That for panic free. timing, but I mean, he got a good punish off of it. And Mike is on his last stock, so I definitely agree with you 100 percent right now. Mike has been playing more off of his Gordo than we've seen in any other game, but at the same time, he's not really getting much going. Edgar's just playing really good. Edgar also not showing any fear or respect. He said. I'm not even going to give you the time of the day to charge this thing. I'm just going to go in. Oh, Whoa, man. <laughs> okay, Daigo, relax. You don't have to parry all that. That's Jesus. That, we're going to call that the machine gun mic. <laughs> <Right? laughs> oh, I thought he swallowed the Gordo. Oh, here we go. Let's see if he can get the shenanigans. Does I, Edgar I would teleport back on. The jump. I would teleport back on. The jump. I, I thought Edgar was just going to teleport back, especially if Edgar's going to – I mean, if uh, Mike's going to jump with a jet hammer, he can't turn around midair. He's just kind of uh, – uh, a flailing hurt box at that point. So uh, Edgar showing a little bit too much fear and respect. This could be a game changer because right now Mike could be a set changer. such a good advantage state. Oh, we got the Mike cheers going on right now. I think people either want Mike to win or they just want to go home and don't want a <laughs> bracket reset. Because I know people are hungry right now. People are really hyped for some food. Right now sure. the people who are hungry hungriest are Mike and Edgar trying to keep the tournament winning. <laughs> Who's hungry alive. though? Who's oh hungry? Oh my goodness, one of them are hungry. Hungry. Off smash. Did not pop Oh my Gordo. god! Not gonna do it just yet. Wait, Mike is, I mean, Edgar is the still next in Gordo. he gets sniped, but that's not it. Now we have this. Is this guy, is he gonna clip? Watch on the stage. I was gonna say if he clips. No, the no. second, that's gonna do it. And Mike. you're a winner. Oh my god. Mike's shaking, yeah, fantastic. I My, thought he was going for Mike the is clip. popping off right he now. He was going for the clip. I was like, if he wins this tournament with a jet hammer, I quit. I My, quit. I'm going back to Smash 4. I'm going back to Smash <laughs> and, 4. And a big congratulations to Mike winning oh his first God. tournament, actually. That is actually incredible. 
congratulations to Mike. I know that boy is going to be all over Twitter. Absolutely. He's about to get so much clout. Did he run out the venue? Where did he no, go? Well, he's, he ran up to get his pay, I think. Is he doing a lap <laughs> right now? Is he like, that much it's a victory lap, yeah. So, I mean, congratulations to him because he had played out of his mind the whole entire tournament. He had such good, impressive reads. Uh, his advantage is always entertaining to watch. And like I said, Mike, when he gets you down to last stock, no matter how big of a disadvantage he's at or how much percent you have on him, being last stock to last stock against a DDD, it, you never can count him out. Take this boy to out of state. Take this boy to out of state. All right, there you heard it from Zerx. Looking to have Mike actually prove himself out of and state. And here now. we have the guy himself. Mike, you know what? I'm going to give Mike the mic. Mike, you deserve the mic. Go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> so, so how does it feel to finally win a big game nest tournament, especially going through the likes of Ven, the likes of Edgar, and doing it in a really dominant fashion. You might have only dropped three games today, I believe, that's what it was. How do you feel? It was exhausting, to say the least. Especially Edgar. He was yeah. a pain. But I pulled through. Now, I know that in Twitter, uh, on Twitter, you talk a lot about you know the Palatina matchup and how it's really, really difficult, especially for your lineup of characters. What, what did you do did today that was very different from maybe the previous times you played them? I played really slow and patiently. Yeah. It definitely showed with a lot of the uh, situations that you guys came across. You know, at times, especially in that hey, last Bo. game, it, was, it looked very bleak because you were down by a lot of percent. Uh -huh. But then you, you kind of like corralled yourself. Do you think that's something that was, uh, you know, you were just feeling yourself? Walk me through what was going through your head during that time so that last basically, game. Also, also, do you feel like you were reading him a lot? Definitely. If... Like as DDD, since he's since he has a lot of strong moves like F Smash, Dash Attack, Jet Hammer, you have to make those reads. And if you don't make those reads, you're dead. Fantastic. Well, you played out of your mind here. Yeah. Now let me ask you the question that's been on everyone else's mind: Do you see yourself traveling anytime soon to really show off your skills to other regions? Hmm. Maybe if as soon as I'm done with high school. Maybe. Okay. Definitely. It's definitely right. a consideration. All right. Well, congratulations, Mike, on your dominant performance you. winning Game Nest. Here, closing it out here, I'm Z, and your champion, Mike, with Foe in the background. I'd like to give a shout-out to the wonderful people on the DDD Discord. They're a lot of they, – they're really fun. They're cool. They're smart. And shout-outs to Tartita the Pun. He's a god like DDD. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us this evening here at Game Nest. Once again, Mike is your champion. I hope everybody has a great Hello. rest of your night. Mike, woo! That was difficult. Thank you. We are sending it over to Cinnamon LOL. So, oh, sorry. Navi just distracted me. But, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night.